Welcome dear learners. Welcome to the lecture series on financial management. Dear learners, in the last session, we have completed with the payback period method. Now today, we will take up accounting rate of return or average rate of return method. People popularly call it as, or people use short form ARR for this method. Now this method is categorized under traditional method. Like we have discussed the categorization of methods under capital budgeting. We have categorized the capital budgeting techniques into two types, traditional and modern. So under traditional we have payback period and ARR. So payback period we are done with it and now we are heading towards to complete accounting rate of return or average rate of return under traditional methods. Now, what is average rate of return? So, under this method, the net profit after tax, that means they take into consideration the profit after tax, net profit after tax over the economic life of the project, that means entire life of the project are taken, that means the Net profits, whatever the profits are resulting out of the projects after adjusting the tax, etc. So, they will consider net profit after tax over the economic life of the project. Then, under this method, the return is expressed as a percentage of capital or investment, which is calculated as follows. Now, in this method, we try to uh, express the um, return, whatever the return is. Return is expressed as a percentage of capital. So, that is the beauty of this method. Now, now we already know there are two types of projects. So, we, we if, if we are using accounting rate of return method and you come across, uh, if you want to uh, make a decision in case of independent or dependent projects, you need to make a decision according to these rules which are given here. Now, in case of independent projects, the calculated ARR of the project should be compared with the company standards. So, if the company standards is, if the company standards are more, if the, if the company standards are more than the calculated ARR, then you need to reject it. If the calculated ARR is more than the company standard, then you need to accept it. The, uh, the difference between the payback period uh, decision criteria and ARR, you, you, you should be careful, you should not confuse. In case of payback period, we see lowest payback period. But in case of ARR, we choose the projects which are, whose ARR is highest. So, that is in case of independent projects. But in case of mutually exclusive projects, it is very simple. Whichever project is uh, providing you or resulting in highest ARR, you need to select it. Now, uh, once we have understood the concept of ARR and the decision criteria, let us move to understand the formulae. Now, the ARR formula is very simple. It is average paid by average investment. So, already we said return is expressed as a percentage of investment. So, return is expressed as a percentage of investment. So, uh, this numerator is return and investment is, average investment is your investment. So, return is being expressed as a percentage of investment. So, um, again, uh, so in order to calculate average PAT, you need to just take the PAT total and divide it by number of years. You will get average PAT, that is numerator part and average investment. You need to calculate numerator and denominator part separately and then substitute in the formula. So, for average investment, you will be uh, taking using this formula half into investment minus scrap plus additional working capital if anything given plus scrap value. So, this is how you calculate the average investments. So, now once we have seen the formula, now let us uh, start doing a problem. Now, here we have a question uh, determine ARR from the following data of two machines A and B. See, here they have given two machines. That means, by seeing the question, we can understand that it is a dependent project. A dependent project is that project where there are more than one, more than one projects. 
so uh, you need to be careful in while making decisions there are two projects so uh, some uh, information is given like particulars machine a machine b so information uh, relating to machine a and machine b is given so like information um, um, original cost original cost uh, of machine a is 56125 and machine b is 56125 both are costing same additional working capital uh, machine a requires 5000 machine b requires 6000 see this additional working capital will will be using it in um, the formulae a life is 5 years 5 years both uh, both of the machines have got the same life uh, estimated salvage uh, 3000 3000 uh, that is uh, scrap tax rate is 55 percent both are charged with the same tax rate and here annual, annual estimated net profit after tax is given so here cash inflows are given for five years so the life of the project is five years as said above uh, so there are uh, the inflows for a and for b project separately they are given so how to apply uh, this formula and solve this problem now see listen calculation of arr for pro for machine a so we know the average pat the average pat is equals to so our arr formula is average pat by average investment into 100 but we do not have a numerator and denominator so just you need to already the formula is given for new average pat and average investment average pat is equals to pat total by number of years so what you need to do the pat total the so, so total cash flows total so you need to total up divided by five years so you will be getting so the total is 36 875 divided by five years it is 7375 then average investment half into investment investment is 56 125 it is given in the uh, it is 56,125 it is given in the problem so again you need to take the scrap value deduct it from plus uh, additional working capital is given 5000 plus 3000 so if you simplify it you uh, you will be getting 34,562.5 so then substitute in this ARR formula you will be getting the answer final outcome now uh, dear learners it is very simple method uh, ARR is very simple method um, compared to other methods now other uh, modern methods traditional methods are very simple when compared to modern methods next let us take up machine B uh, in the machine B the same thing we apply that is average pat we will calculate first average pat uh, by using the formula and uh, average investments then we have substituted uh, both the things in the average AR, ARR formula we got 20.73 as answer now but these are dependent projects that means we need to make a decision so which project should be accepted or which machine should be accepted see the ARR so how to make a decision is very important so here ARR for, for project A is 21.33, project B is 20.73%. So, what our rule says is, if the, in case of dependent projects, a project with highest ARR is accepted. So, a project A, uh, since project A's average rate of return is higher than the project B, hence project A should be accepted so you need to accept project a because it's on the grounds that the project a arr is higher than project b so this is how you make a decision in case of arr dependent projects so um, this is all about accounting rate of return method we have studied the definition the formulae and the computation procedure so uh, We'll be coming up with the next session soon. Till then, good day, goodbye.